Hey, Brian here with worshiptutorials.com, and now for something completely different. This is the MT Uberec patch, uh, which is based on uh, a rig from Mark Tremonti. I will link to it below. Um, I recently found a Mark Tremonti rig rundown video of him with uh, Alter Bridge, and so I basically built this patch around it. Now, I grew up in the 90s, and like a lot of kids who grew up in the 90s, I listened to a lot of Creed in my life. I have been a fan of Tremonti uh, for decades now, so I've always wanted to do this. So of all places, you can get your Mark Tremonti fix here from worshiptutorials.com. I'm going to walk through this patch and give you an idea of the sounds you can get from it. It is a three amp patch. It's the only uh, patch here at Worship Tutorials that uses three amps. The main rhythm dirt lead tones are coming from two amps uh, that are in a stereo configuration. It's uh, two amps that Tremonti has used throughout his career. The Bogner Ubershaw and the, the Mesa Boogie uh, rectifier and the Helix. I can't remember, if it's, I'll subtitle myself so you know. It's either a dual rectifier or triple. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, those two amps are handling the clean tones. They go in stereo into a pair of Tone Junkie impulse response cabs, which I feel sound great with this. And then the clean tone uh, is coming from an amp that Tremonti has used for cleans before, the Fender Twin. Uh, so polar opposite uh, sides of the spectrum for dirty to clean, but it works really well together and gets sort of that modern rock, uh, hard rock, you know, rhythm to clean kind of thing. So we're in snapshot mode here on my Helix. You can see there are four snapshots across the bottom that are included with this patch. The rhythm snapshot, which is your main rhythm tone, is the, the Uber Shawl and the Boogie together uh, with some EQ just to kind of do some tone shaping. It's got an eighth note like analog delay, a little bit of reverb and compression on the B. In the front end, it sounds like this. <laughs> All right, so that's your main rhythm tone. I am playing, by the way, a PRS Custom 24. This is uh, completely stock except for these ivory buttons. I used to have a PRS DGT like a fool. I sold it. I wish I had it back. That guitar is crazy good. Uh, but the DGT has these Ivoroid buttons from PRS. I really like them, so I put them on here. Otherwise, we're completely stocked with this guitar. PRS 8515 pickups, uh, which are great, just all-purpose humbucker, uh, hum, or as they say at PRS, humbucking pickups. Uh, now, the Mark Tremonti signature is going to be a little different. If I were to guess, I don't have one. I haven't ever played one, but I would guess that the pickups on that are a little more aggressive, higher output, probably more aggressive in the mid-range. Now, if you're playing on Sunday and you've got, you know, a Telecaster or a Jazzmaster and you want to just pop this patch on and, uh, you know, bust out some Tremonti riffs while people leave the, con the sanctuary at your church, you can do this with a Telecaster. I've tried it. It sounds cool with single coils. It's really going to shine with, uh, with humbuckers, with probably higher output, more aggressive humbuckers. You play some Mark Tremonti as people walk out, you're going to get a few of the, like... Like that. You might even get some notes, uh, you know, what is what is this music that they're playing? That's cool. You can do it. You know, don't play a Tremonti solo in the middle of What a Beautiful Name. But, you know, you can throw these in here and there every once in a while. All right, the next snapshot is the Rhythm Plus snapshot. So, uh, Tremonti in this rig rundown, you watch the video, you should, it's cool. Uh, he talks about, um, he uses a Tube Screamer, Ibanez Tube Screamer. Uh, and I can't remember who he said showed it to him. Uh, it's in the video. Uh, the, they, it's a famous guitar player. I can't remember which. But they said, turn the drive all the way up to 10, turn the level up to 10, turn the tone down to zero. Which, if you would have asked me, I would have told you that is going to make your guitar sound like this. But it doesn't. Uh, it's cool what it does. So I've done that here in the Helix. Uh, I'm going to go from rhythm to rhythm plus and show you what it does. All right. <laughs> So it really, it, it's a little tiny bit of a volume boost, but just really makes it everything sound more aggressive and a little more mid-focused, which is what a Tube Screamer 
uh, does. The next snapshot is your solo snapshot or uh, lead snap. This is gonna leave the tube screamer on and I've added an EQ block in front of the amp, another EQ block that's just pushing upper mids, mid range and upper mid. And then there is a um, gain block at the end of the chain and that gain block is just raising the overall level without changing the tone, just makes everything louder. Uh, which is a, a cool trick. This is something that, you know, pro guitar players have done forever. You don't always need like another overdrive for your lead tone. A lot of times what you need is an EQ boost or just a pure volume boost. So I've done those two things to get the lead sound. Now, I'm gonna demo this. I am not gonna try to play a Mark Tremonti solo because I can't. If you can, then you should. I'm just gonna show you how it sounds. It sounds like this. Going from rhythm plus to, uh, to lead, to solo. <laughs> So you can hear, one thing you can hear is there's more delay. I, could, I couldn't help myself. I put a stereo, dual stereo delay in this patch. <laughs> so it goes like a, -na -na -na. it's like a, that kind of, it's not like a rhythmic thing. But uh, if you want to stay more true to form to Tremonti, you probably want to turn that dual stereo delay off. But I think it just makes everything sound bigger. Um, you can do what you want with it. So you heard there, the solo, that EQ and the gain block together, just push those mids and set it up over the top of the mix. The last thing you get is the clean snapshot. So that again turns the boogie and the uber shawl off, turns the twin on, and you get a little chorus because it's rock clean. You gotta have some chorus with it. Sounds like this on the neck pickup. <laughs> By the way, two things you might notice. One, I'm in drop D tuning, because you gotta be for this stuff. And two, I really only know one song from Tremonti. Well, I guess you could play uh, this one too. All right, uh, so that's the clean tone. Let's look at the uh, stomp mode, uh, what, how I've got this laid out. First of all, the left two buttons don't have anything assigned to them. So if you're using a Helix LT, those are gonna be your bank up and down buttons that you can't change. You're not missing anything with this patch. The first thing you see here is this dirty clean button. Um, so that toggles the two amps on and off. Now, you know, something you can do and a lot of people do with Helix is your dirtier rhythms tones all come from one amp, or in this case, two amps. Uh, and then your clean tone comes from a completely different amp, which is a really cool way to do it. Um, this is the only patch we have that actually does that. And so this button uh, toggles the two amps. So when the dirty clean button is on, your uh, Ubershaw and uh, Boogie are on. When it's off, the twin is on. So you go from clean. <laughs> That's how it works, cool trick. Um, the next thing is the Tube Screamer, then the Solo Boost button, again, just turns on that EQ and the Gain Block to, to boost for the solo. Uh, you've got Reverb, you've got the two delays. There is a Univibe in this patch. Tremonti talks about the fact that he always uses a vibe pedal of some kind. Sounds like this. <laughs> So that's a cool sound. Uh, I like, I love Univa. I always, it's like one of the first mod kind of pedals I always go to to try out. Um, I don't use it all. I'm gonna, you know, Bradford has the ramping tremolo thing. That's like his thing. I'm gonna make Univibe my thing. That's gonna be my goal. All right. So uh, you also have the chorus available to you there. So in the rig rundown, Tremonti talks about he has two walls. They're exactly the same, set up exactly the same. One is over here, one is over here. When he plays to this side of the crowd, he uses this one. When he plays to that side of the crowd, he uses that one. Cool, that's showmanship right there. Only have one wall pedal. You could have two helices, one over here, one over here, and then you could, you know, they're both, they have the same thing going on if you wanted to. 
that could be your deal. But uh, to get to the wah, um, there's a button underneath the volume pedal. If you didn't know that, that will. It's hard to press. All right, you gotta put some. You gotta. You gotta put some weight onto it. Um, that will turn the wah pedal on and then give you access to it. And then you press that button again to go from back to EXP two. And now you're uh, back to controlling just the volume block. Now I am not a wah player, so if you are, you might want to tweak the way that wah pedal sounds. Um, I got it to where I thought it sounded pretty cool, but it's not, you know, sort of my my bread and butter type of an effect. Uh, but it's there uh, because he uses it a lot. So there it is, the Mark Tremonti, the MT Uberek patch, available from WorshipTutorials.com of all places. But you know, sometimes you just gotta melt some faces and this will help you do it. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.